What is up guys, welcome to Garage 23 and today we're at TKGT, the USA branch of Trust Kikaku and yeah, we're already starting to buy parts for our Skyline, so let's go see what they have. All right, so we're here at the TKGT warehouse with Octavio who was gracious enough to let us inside and show us around. So what, uh, first of all, like it, it was awesome seeing the, the Japan location in uh, Ibaraki, mm -hmm. but like what prompted them to open a location here in Southern California? So starting maybe 20, 15 years ago, our CEO started amassing a collection of R34s. Um, I don't know if you saw the lot in Japan, but- Yeah, it was pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, there's a few hundred of them over there. And um, he, he had the hope of one day importing them to the US and kind of setting up shop here and setting up sort of like, not like an auto zone, but like, you know, like having OEM support ready to ship anywhere within the US. And um, so starting August of 2021, he found a warehouse and slowly but surely we've been kind of building up our inventory. Right, and so he was really ahead of the game. Like, yeah. like that, that whole thought process like really was really well thought out. Like our, our 34s are just, just getting here. We saw you, you guys just got one in the container. Uh, 32s and 33s have been here for a little bit. And obviously the more cars that come over, people are gonna need parts. They're gonna need maintenance bits. They're gonna need, you know, rare, you know, str strut bars, steering wheels, like anything you can name. So that, that was, that was really well thought out on his part. Yeah. So can you show us around like what, like what rare parts do you have that like other places might, might not have? So part of what the Japan store does is they amass rare parts from cars that have been like crashed or destroyed and they'll kind of like try to save them if possible. But if not, you know, they want to save the rare parts from going to like the scrap yard, right? right? So that's how we end up with like these old logo tower bars or the OEM fog lights and depending on the condition of the vehicle, sometimes we do get some pretty good condition stuff like the Nismo triple meter gauges there. Yeah, those are really nice. Yeah. yeah. So if somebody wants to pick any of these parts up, like what's what's the general process that they would have to go through? So everything's listed on our website, uh, tkgtcars.com and everything ships within the US within a week. Uh, if you need something like overnight, like say you're going to like a track day and you need a few oil filters or things like that, maintenance items, we can ship them to you next day. Just shoot us an email and we'll, we'll take care of you. And what about parts that you have to source, like some, something really specific that you don't have in stock? Like what would be the timeline for something like that? So typically, uh, just because of the time difference, it does take a little while for us to hear back from our team in Japan. But right. once we get an email from you, we'll set up like a little post for them to look at. And then they'll try and either, if it's something rare and discontinued, they'll look through Yahoo Auctions or they'll look through their current inventory. Or if it's something new that you're trying to purchase, they'll contact the supplier and then give us a lead time and pricing and all that stuff. And okay. Typically, uh, figuring out the pricing and all that takes about a week. And then if the part is in stock, it'll be at your door within like five days. Oh, awesome. Nice. And what about like huge parts? <laughs> so bigger parts is kind of, it's another one of the main reasons why we set up shop here. So you picked up a set of R34 quarter panels. Right. Shipping those from Japan costs about $2,000 each, which is a little pricey. That's more than the actual quarter panel itself. Yeah. So having a shop here where you guys can pick them up or ship it within the US for sub $1,000, it helps a lot of people out. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely why we went this route and just picked them up. <laughs> You're like, we're, we're in Arizona. That's only, only a couple hundred miles. It's, it's fine. Yeah. And there's our patrol going through like a tank of gas every 30 minutes or something. <laughs> it's horrible. We, we're getting, what was the math that we did? Nine miles per gallon. Wank. Yeah, I mean, rough. <laughs> again, at least you guys brought a car that can actually fit the quarter panels inside. Uh, a few people kind of show up and they expect them to be a little smaller because the cars are kind of smaller, but the boxes are pretty big and yeah. we've had people come in Honda Fits trying to fit a pair of quarter panels only to find out that there's no way it's going to make it inside. Yeah, props to them for going from a Honda Fit to a Skyline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a nice upgrade. Yeah. These cars that you guys have here, these are already for sale or what's the story with these ones? Yeah, so these are for sale. Uh, our official website for vehicle sales is tkgtcars-import.com and you guys can check out all of our available inventory. So these are set up and ready to go. Um, the website also has all of our Japan stock that's ready to go. Okay. And the cool part, if you're purchasing a car from us in Japan, is like, say it needs like work done, like say you wanna get it painted or you wanna have some parts professionally installed on it. We can work with shops that we partner with in Japan to get that done before the car reaches our shores. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I wanna say we have a customer car going to Midori Seibi to take care of some suspension stuff, if I remember correctly. And then after that, it's getting paint and then it's getting shipped here. That's really convenient. Yeah. yeah. It would have been nice to have that kind of service uh, when we got ours, but 
Uh, I don't think you guys started importing when we were looking for our car because we we actually bought ours almost two years ago now. Mm -hmm. So I think you guys just started last year, right? Yeah, yeah. So as far as getting the process figured out, it definitely takes a lot to make sure that you're doing all the paperwork correctly because yeah. nobody wants to be driving around and then you get pulled over and then you don't have the proper paperwork right. and then your car gets taken away from you and you know nobody wants to go through that. So we did take our time figuring out all the proper import procedures, but. Um, yeah, we started importing June of 2022, and we're on our fourth, fifth car now. Nice. So these are, you said these are all ready to go? That They're already titled? All the paperwork's already taken care of? They're not titled. We do have import paperwork, but oh, okay. just because we're in California and getting them titled in California, I don't oh, know if you guys right. understand how that process works, but there's a lab that you have to go to. It's much more complicated. And it costs about $10,000 to bring these cars into compliance in oh. California. So we've kind of left it up to our customers to kind of title in your own state. Gotcha. But we'll definitely provide support throughout the whole process. If there's, if the DMV or anybody tries to tell you a paper like is incorrect or you're missing something, we'll be right there with you the whole way. Gotcha, that's awesome. I noticed you guys have wheels also, that's, that's. <laughs> Yes, spring for it. <laughs> um, I noticed you guys have wheels also. I saw some pretty rare ones over here, actually. Some LMGT2s and older LMGT4s, I believe. Yeah, these are from 2002. The white ones are 2002. The silver ones, I know were 350 spec. I just don't know what year they were actually produced, but yeah, they're old. <laughs> these are definitely nice, nice sets of wheels. Eight and a half plus 25. Yeah, definitely like 350Z spec. Yeah. 19s, definitely 350Z spec. I've always liked the, the white sets of these. Yeah, the white ones are nice. How much are these going for? I wanna say like 45. I don't, uh, don't wanna lie to you though. Let me double check. Yeah, no, typically LMGTs go for around like four grand. So anywhere under that, you're probably getting a smoking deal. Anywhere above that, they better be a pristine set of wheels. <laughs> Yeah. The crazy part about these is like nobody really cared about them a few years ago. Like yeah. these were so cheap a few years ago. And now I it's like- I actually picked up a set of these LMTT2s. Uh, I actually don't even think I showed them on the channel yet, but we picked them up from, from 3PC USA for $800. And that same set is going for like, <laughs> unrestored mind you, same set I saw from 3PC also. I saw it a few months ago, but I think they were asking like 3,200 for it because it was a four leg set. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I could just turn around and sell them right now and just <laughs> triple, quadruple my money. But right. I, I really wanted the, the four leg set because mm -hmm. we have a 280Z also, a Datsun. Oh, right on. And I was like, oh, that's going to be awesome to see LMGTs on a Datsun because you really never Nobody see that. Really... I've only seen one car. Yeah, yeah. But I thought that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. And for a 34, I actually haven't still haven't decided what wheels did. Like LMGT, GT4s are awesome, but I feel like everyone puts LMG, LMGTs or TEs. Right. It's like the textbook wheel for a 34. Right. So I'm almost like hesitant to go with either of those options, but it's like, like what else do you do? Yeah, right. <laughs> like the, they're the main options for a reason because they look amazing. Right, right. But I've seen LMGT2s on 34s, but they look a little like weird. Yeah, it doesn't, like, look it, quite it doesn't right. match, right? And especially since LMGTs are usually 17, so it doesn't really. Right, right. Usually right. have to get them rebuilt and then stretched up to an 18 right. and that still doesn't quite look right. Right, right. But. All right, so we're here in the, the stock room of their warehouse and as you guys can see that there's no shortage of parts. So like Octavio said, if you guys need anything from here, it's usually ready to ship same day and usually can get to you in less than a week, right? Less than a week, yeah, anywhere in the US. We also ship internationally if you guys are looking to do that and we can get you set up with a quote. Awesome. Yeah, so this stock is mostly from our latest container. Uh, arrived here early July. We're getting right. another one in September, so That's more parts. Our quarter panels were on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was pretty cool seeing all the all the quarter panels. I didn't I didn't think that many people would be buying quarter panels. But yeah, it's, it's quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, so it's guys who bought Crash 34s for like a deal. You know what right, I mean? Yeah. And then they're just replacing the quarter deal, panels. They're still going for like 60 grand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think or, if you guys saw in the latest auction, there was a Crash Bayside Blue 34 that went for eighty thousand. <laughs> Yeah. But that's more than it was new. <laughs> like, yeah. Personally, I'm just happy we didn't pay like new GTR prices for our, for our GTT. Right, that was right. what I was afraid of. Like, I, I don't want to be paying 50, 60 for a GTT. Yeah. And luckily they haven't gotten to that point yet, but 
the the landed prices actually are getting pretty close now they're yeah like upper yeah. 40s i think it's i've seen one or two 50s already yeah for a clean one they're definitely getting up there but yeah. at least nissan still offers support and you can still get parts and if you want to do a gtr conversion it's not too difficult Definitely yeah, the takes most, most difficult part is definitely the, the quarter panels, mm -hmm. which we have a little bit of experience doing like uh, panel repair and bodywork and stuff. Okay. But even that's going to be pretty tough, yeah. so we're, we're hoping we can get it done. But as far as like the rest of the conversion, especially like the front end, that's all pretty straightforward, bolt on yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, nothing yeah. too crazy. And you guys have all, all those parts in, in, in stock too? You said you had the yeah. kit, right? So we sell a full kit for a front end GTR conversion and then any other little miscellaneous pieces that you guys are trying to get, we can source if we don't have them here. So, right on. Yeah. <laughs> this is all like the smaller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah, it's a two piece set. One of them's used, one of them's new. <laughs> so you can wear the used one and then save the new one. Oh, nice. <laughs> all right, so that's gonna be it for our visit at TKGT USA. Uh, we'd like to thank Octavio for showing us around. Thank you guys for stopping by. <laughs> no problem. And thank, obviously a big thanks for helping us out with our parts. It was quite an ordeal getting everything like in Japan, getting it, you know, all the logistics sorted out and TKGT was just a huge help with that. Thank you guys. So that's gonna be it. Uh, the link's gonna be down below for their website. Again, if there's anything here that you guys need, hit them up. In my experience, personally, they had better stock than the Modi factory did, so. <laughs> You know, we get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks for checking it out. See you guys next time.